So Soul Simmers, and welcome to the very first episode of my brand new Let's Play. So a while back, I asked everyone on YouTube, on Twitter, and in my Discord what you guys would like to see on this channel. And you almost all said that you would like to see a Let's Play, so I figured, why not try it? I haven't done any Let's Plays on this uh, channel since I did the 100 Baby Challenge. That is a while back. However, when all of you said that you would still like to see a Let's Play on this channel, I figured, why not go out there and just write my own? I've had this idea for a little while that I figured that I have all of the packs in The Sims 4 that I really enjoy playing with the packs in The Sims 4, but because every time I bought one, a new one came out quite quickly, I jumped on The Sims 4 train quite late, so there were already a lot of packs out when I started playing the game, so there is a lot of content I missed. All in all, I skipped a lot of the gameplay in all of the packs and I was kind of playing with the idea of what if I write a legacy challenge where every generation focuses on a pack. And I know that you have this in a lot of other games where you can kind of like 100% the game, do all of the achievements and then you have 100% it or like perfection run the game. And I figured you can't really do that in The Sims. I mean, still with this legacy challenge, you probably can't. There are so many features that I had to let leave out because it would just otherwise get way too big and way too complicated. But I was like, what if I try to sort of make a 100% version legacy challenge of The Sims where every generation focuses on a pack? You can still use all of the other packs in every generation simply because I wanted to play in my own save file. I'm going to say it was very selfish decision there. I want to play in my own save file that I made with my best friend and we didn't make it pack friendly. So all of the packs were used everywhere and I really want to play in that save. So I decided to just allow everyone to use all of the packs in every generation, but every pack has like requirements, goals, like things that you need to do, the traits, the aspirations, everything is based on that one pack. And I kind of made a little backstory for each generation and then it's up to you to complete the story. So with this also the official invitation, to join in on this journey of playing through all the Sims packs. If you don't own a certain pack, you can totally just skip a generation. That's completely fine. You would have to get a little bit creative yourself with the storytelling, I think, because I tried to reference back to generations before, but you should totally be able to do it. It's 24 generations. And that includes the werewolf pack that came out recently. There's a, a lot of content for you to play with. So if you don't own a pack, you can easily skip one and still have that whole feeling of maybe a 10 generation legacy challenge. I will link everything that you need to know down below. I will walk you guys through the first generation today because we are actually going to start playing it on this channel. I already uploaded the speed build last week of the house I did for this legacy challenge. So I did like a little voice over there as well, where I kind of talked about the legacy challenge already. But in case you missed that because you thought you didn't like a speed build or it's not really your type of content, um, then today is the official introduction into the Legacy Challenge. I will introduce you to our founding sim and we will just, you know, get started to work on some of the tasks that we need to do for this generation because I think we have quite a lot ahead of us. So as you can see, we are in the world of Willow Creek. And when I had to figure out which pack I wanted to start with, I just thought to myself, why not start with the first ever like expansion to the game that came out? And that was Outdoor Retreat. I thought if I start there, I will at least have a really good point. Then after that, I tried to do them kind of chronologically. I ended up swapping some things here and there because it made more sense for my backstories to match up, but I tried to keep them as chronological as possible. So the further you get ahead in the challenge, the more like recent the packs will become. But in this case, we're starting out with Outdoor Retreat. And the reason we are starting in Willow Creek is because Outdoor Retreat is a vacation world so we can travel there. We definitely have to travel there for this challenge. But we start out living in the simple town of Willow. Our founder sim is named Elliot Hart. He is a real cutie. I had so much fun designing him in Cass. He currently has the Angling Ace aspiration and this is actually the aspiration that we'll start out with. So the little backstory for this sim is that he comes from a family of fishers. He absolutely loves to fish and because of that, he developed a very strong love for nature. He wants to explore nature. He wants to travel and see nature that he has never seen before. And he preferably wants to do it with the love of his life, with his soulmate. He wants someone to share that sentiment with, to, to go on that adventure with. And that's why he also has the romantic trait. The only downside to this is that I did a, add a little curveball here and there, and that is that the sim that we have to date has to be a squeamish sim. So they will be the love of our life, 
but they won't like nature that much as we do. I'm very curious to see what kind of challenges that brings. I have very rarely played with a squeamish sim, so I'm probably gonna get annoyed by it and that will be the fun of it. Apart from that, he is a bookworm and I was thinking if he loves to travel, he's probably maybe like a journalist who likes to write about his stories. So I was thinking, what if we have him write books? Like he writes travel diaries. And that is also the profession that he will have. So one of the main things that I want to get done in this episode today is make sure that he actually is a writer and that, you know, all of the things are properly set up for the challenge. And obviously he loves the outdoors. I mean, with this storyline, it's almost mandatory for him to love the outdoors. He is a young adult. I put him at a young adult because I figured we might need a little bit of time to get into the challenge. So let's just check it out, shall we? So welcome to the cute little house we build. If you want to see the speed build of this, I will link it in the description down below. During that video, I also ramble on a little bit about the Reg legacy challenge, but I do try to explain there as well what my vision was for the house and how it all came together. But I think it looks really cute. I don't think it looks like a starter home at all. I I do think it has the elements of someone who really likes nature like you can see he already has some fish hanging he has like an outdoor cookery pot and we also have a separate campfire he has like a woodworking table where he can make you know like the, his fishing equipment i would say i think and as you can see we have the wonderful welcome wagon going on we have lovely eliza pancakes here to welcome us in and she is actually our neighbor so we live right next to the pancakes house so i th was thinking maybe you know i usually skip the welcome wagon but what if i don't what if i you know just get to know her real quick and see See if we would if we would vibe with Eliza Pancake as a way to kick off this challenge. Okay, they seem to hit it off. They seem to like each other. That's nice. So one thing I also want to do in this challenge is I remembered that way back when we created this save file, we also made a club for fishers. Actually, my best friend's favorite sim from the entire save file, a fisherman named Joe, is in that club. My founder is maybe a little bit inspired. It's kind of like a tribute to that sim and the whole process that we went through in creating the save file. Maybe we can join the club and maybe we can befriend Joe and see where that leads. You know, maybe, maybe he could be the guy that we date. I don't know. There are, there are possibilities. But let's check out the inside of the house. So it has like a little dining room. A lot of the furniture kind of seems a little bit refurbished. We have a very well-equipped kitchen, if I say so myself. This is actually a very luxurious kitchen for a starter sim. I did not hold back on this one. We have a nice bathroom. It's It doesn't have a bath, but I figured that for now that is fine. And then upstairs we have a little bedroom, which I doubt if I want to change this a little bit. I mean, as you can see, the wardrobe pick isn't fully appropriate, maybe? Mm -mm. You know, I built this house before I knew who my starter sim would be. And I feel like this is the only room where it really shows, but we can change that. We can change that. No worries. Also, I just saw I did not change his money. I just moved him in and I feel like that's not very realistic. So maybe we give him like 250? 250 to start out with. He just bought a house. He has like a lot of stuff. I might hate myself for this. I might regret the decision to only give him 250, but I feel like, you know, I would like the challenge of him going around. We actually need to complete the fishing and the insect collection, so... I think we might need to start looking for it. I feel like neither of them I've ever completed. So let me actually look into this and see what we need to look for. So we have 22 fish and 21 insects. However, for this legacy challenge, I only need to complete like for this generation, the ones from the base game and outdoor retreat. So if there were fish added in later packs, I don't have to find them all. We can do that in later packs if we want to. Like eventually I think it might be really cool if we complete all of the collections with our 24 generations. However, there are some things that I don't have in the legacy challenge anywhere. So we'll have to see if we can sneak it in, but I think that might be nice, like a good way of 100%ing the game. But let me see, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 fish that we can catch within the base game. And then there, oh no, wait, more even. Why is that one fish over here? Like in between all of the pack fish, there's this one very rare fish. And then we have 25, 26, 27, 28. So we need to catch 28 fish. I'm not sure if I'll like that process, but you know, we'll try. <laughs> and then we have the insects, which is completely based on our pack. So that's why I added this collection to this generation. I have honestly never taken a holiday in Granite Falls and I have never ever collected any insects. 
So this is gonna be a first for me. I bought the pack for the build buy items. I'm not gonna lie, that's why I did it. I'm one of those people that just throws my money at EA for build buy items. So, you know, it might actually be nice to get some gameplay out of the pack because I feel like I deserve it by now. Okay, so let's get to know some of our neighbors as well. I think just doing like a quick friendly introduction might be nice. Just, just to have some friends or like Sims that we know. I think that might just be cool. Maybe we can start by... We don't need to dig or anything, but I feel like we could start with some fishing. And luckily we live right next to a fishing spot. And there it begins long hours of our sim fishing. Also, he's getting kind of tired and for the first time ever, I feel like that kind of matches with the time of day, which is really convenient. I uh, usually when I start a save, my sims are all in the orange at like the weirdest time of day. So the fact that this worked out is actually quite nice. We caught our very first fish. Elliot Hart has caught a new fish, a guppy. Can we name the guppy? Should we name the guppy? What should we name the guppy? I feel like in honor of my shirt, I'm gonna- Ooh, no, we- no, sorry. I have a better idea. The guppy is named Vecna. And I think because it is our very first fish, in honor of this very important moment in the Legacy Challenge, we're going to add Vecna into our fishbowl. Look at that. Do you see him swimming? Look at how happy he is. Such a happy Vecna fish. I think that is, that marks the official start of this challenge. We have a fish. I think for the rest of this, we'll just sell our fish in the beginning because we kind of need the money and it will be one of our very first sources of income before we actually join the writer career, which I want to do today. But I think it will be an easy way to earn some money and eventually we need to do a lot of things for the angling ace aspiration. And it just, I think it would be kind of cool if we complete the collection quite early on and we can start hanging up our fish, like displaying our collection. It's something that I never do, but what if we at one point, you know, turn our home into a fishing cabin of some sorts? Okay, so we caught a couple of more fish, but he is starting to get very tired. And one thing I realized is that usually when I'm playing this game, I have my sim make some food, but since I didn't do that, there's no food in the fridge. He likes fishing? I think we can say that he does. Does. Just to make it a little bit easier on ourselves, he does really like fishing, yes. But since he has no food, I mean, that means that tomorrow morning I might spend some time on preparing some meals. I really love to just prep like eight servings of a meal and put them in the fridge and then do it again. And then you have 16 servings and you're good to go. This is like my hack for, I wouldn't say lazy Sims 4 gameplay, but it's just, I want to focus on all of the other things in the game. I want to focus on the storytelling. I want to focus on, you know, my character development, everything. I don't want to be focusing on that. They have to make dinner every night. I already do that in my own life. I have better things to do in The Sims. Ooh, it's fall. Okay, so we have a brand new season. Okay, you can wake up now and you can go downstairs and actually make some food. And this is always the part that I love about Sims when you start a new challenge. I certainly hope that he won't start a fire. At least he acquired the cooking skill. That's one step in the right direction. It looks like he is quite natural. He's not like slamming the pan and yet yet but now here comes the eggs and this is where usually yeah there we go please don't start a fire like i don't have any money to pay for broken things okay good we survived making our very first meal let's put it in the fridge let's make another meal oh yeah i forgot that the list isn't that long if you have like cooking level zero let's do some mac and cheese i feel like then we have some breakfast and some dinner and that's usually the meals that i give my sims that's what they'll have to do it with you know and he reached cooking level two and he made another meal without setting the kitchen on fire i feel like this challenge is starting off so smoothly already so he's just gonna have some breakfast and I think then maybe we can actually enroll him maybe as a writer. We can give him like the freelance writer career and we can start working on some things. Oh look, one of our neighbors is playing in a pile of leaves. I think that looks really cute. Should we join him? Let's go, let's just join him. It's fall after all, let's just have some fun. And while we're at it, we might as well just harvest things that are around our lot. I mean, we don't have to. We are not in any way, shape or form doing any gardening. So I'm not going to replant them, I think. I don't even think I have garden pots on this entire lot, which is unique because I always add them as decoration. Let's go to the flea market and see if we can find some rare tre treasures. Prudence, I'm busy. And also I don't have any money and I know a flea market is supposed to be cheap, but these days vintage shit is very expensive and I'm not ready to spend more money. Okay, let's see. I think 
We now have a goldfish and a koi, which is very nice. And they're both very common, so we'll probably catch a lot of them. So that means that we can sell them. I think I might want to save some of the rarer fish. We don't need the bluebell. We can save those as well. And we don't need the onions. See? What a, what a very good way to make money. Also, I felt like I said that he needed to enroll in a career. But I feel like we're having one of those situations again where your sim is not going to voluntarily sit on the chair to use the PC. I think it's a thing with CC PCs. As in, like, as soon as you have a computer that is custom content, your sims won't actually use them until you tell them to sit down on the chair in front of the computer. If any one of you has this bug as well, please let me know what the fix is, because on my Not So Berry Challenge that I play on my Twitch, which, by the way, I will link down below, I will plug it shamelessly. I stream every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I am playing the Not So Berry Challenge, and I've been going nuts of saying that my sim needs to sit down at the chair in front of the computer before they can actually use it, and then sometimes they even stand up in between, and it just drives me crazy. So feel free to pop in the comments and, like, help me out here, because I have no idea. And it's really annoying. So let's enter the free Lancer career. And then let's go into a fighting words. Trade is a freelance writer. I feel like that is very good. And I like the idea of actually doing it through the freelance career instead of doing it where you write yourself and publish your own books. Because I always feel like this gives me an incentive to do it more because there is kind of a deadline to it. And otherwise I'll just focus on all of the other things and just fishing. And this way, you know, let's let's actually select a gig right away. We want weird, wacky writers. Witty and Wacky Ink reaches out to the hair-brained writers of the world to pen tales of the odd, absurd, and downright mad. We are, of course, only looking for the haha, -ha, not the hehe. -he. And most definitely not the curt grin of bemusement. Quality scribblers will receive amble fun fun funalian. Funolians. Funolians! Wow, it's simoleons with fun! I don't know why I struggled so much to get through that word. Just ignore that part. I might cut it out. I might leave it in. I, I'm not sure yet. Funolians for their madcap manuscripts. Wow, they really made this sentence hard to read for someone that is not a native English speaker. Holy guacamole, that's a lot of difficult words to pronounce. But I mean, I feel like we got to take this. That is, I love that so much. And then before we actually get started on it, I want to do like a little nice, I wanted to say morning sesh of fishing, but it's already afternoon. But with that, we can officially say that we started with our aspiration. We started with our skill building. We actually finished the first task on our to-do list of this challenge. And that is to become a writer and actually take on the job of a freelance writer to earn us money. We don't have to complete this career in this generation. But we can. If we manage somehow to complete it, that would be cool. But we don't have to completely level up or max out the writing skill. This is just a way to sustain us while we do all of the other things in our storyline. But it's still nice. We can take off a goal. I just got the pop-up. Looks like the fish in this area are too crafty for Elliot. Try fishing elsewhere until he has more skill or try using more valuable bait. See, this is why I like this challenge already. Bait? You can use bait when you go fishing. I feel like such a new. Where do I do that? Should I- do I have to buy bait? Is that what I have to do? I always forget where you can buy stuff. Here, purchase gifts. I think it should be in here, right? Hmm, maybe not. Let me look it up. How to fish with bait in The Sims 4. I typed Sims 3. That's not gonna give us the right answers, is it? There are three types of bait. Plants, frogs, and medium-sized fish. Sims can get these baits from harvesting plants, collecting frogs, logs, ponds, or through breeding them, and by using already caught medium-sized fish. After gaining bait, Sims can use it in the fishing spots to find out what types of fish will eat it. Okay, so what did I learn already today? Don't sell your fish. If you catch some fish, you might sell them if they're not medium-sized, but if they're medium-sized, keep them as bait. <laughs> I'm learning so much already, and I haven't even really begun playing with this pack. I'm just doing fishing, which is a base game feature. Honestly, maybe I should just have done a base game legacy challenge, because I feel like there is a lot that I don't know about the base game either. But that means that we can maybe, like, walk around and see if there are any plants or anything that we can use as bait. Or maybe we can go fishing in another spot. Spot. Luckily, there are plenty of fishing spots in our neighborhood. So I think if we walk down this border, there are even more. And we can, if we want, even 
go to other areas in Willow Creek and see if we can find some fishing spots there, like level up our fishing skill. And then with that also maybe keep the medium fish for bait. I actually caught another fish and I caught a toy. And I feel like the toy is something that we can sell. And conveniently enough, our Sim is running home because he needs to pee. I'm already really bad at taking care of our Sims. Do you notice? What did it say? Elliot can now use bait to catch bigger, better fish. Okay, so we couldn't even use bait before. We needed to reach level three before we could do. Elliot can examine the water near fishing spots to study fish movements and identify new fish. Elliot can now catch fish using fish traps, a maximum of two, in ocean water. Elliot can now catch catch mahi mahi okay so like this this fishing trap that we like have in our car we can now use it in the ocean but we're not gonna because i don't think we're gonna travel to solani because we're, we don't want to catch any of the tropical fish but i mean i like the idea and the fish that we just caught is it a medium-sized goldfish no it's a small goldfish that's kind of sad so we won't be able to use this as bait so maybe we can sell it then also how is vecna doing little vecna break hi vecna how are you doing? It's sad that you can't like feed them or anything. They look just like a little wallpaper. You know, you know, one of those screensavers. Here, I present to you my Vecna fish screensaver. If you want it, I'll make a clean recording of it and you can put it on your desktop if you like. <laughs> okay, so maybe now that it's actually like still daytime and our sim is doing fine, we should actually get started on our writing assignment. So we should write a clickbait article. I mean, we don't have a very high writing skill, so I'm assuming it might take a while, but actually that bar is moving up really fast. Okay, so we now have the cooking, the fishing, the gardening, and the writing skill. I feel like that's a solid start for our sim that loves the outdoors, that will do a lot of fishing and actually has writing as a career. I feel like we're doing really good at the beginning of this challenge. Ooh, the writing is complete. I'm very, very, very inclined to call it. It's, it's a tribute to the show in case you're missing the joke here. Okay, so we actually did that and now we need to get it approved. Locate the clickbait article draft in Elliot's inventory and submit it to the client for approval. Send to client for approval. And I think with that, we've actually finished our very, wait, 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 wait. I said we finished it and we got money, but what happened? A large bonus was added to the contracted amount, though why they went out of their way to make their logo sing about the bonus is anyone's guess. I do think we need to take care of our sim a little bit, so he needs needs to get some leftovers then he needs to like take a quick shower and he's feeling a little bit lonely but I think I might work on that tomorrow like tomorrow we could maybe go to a local cafe maybe like a coffee cafe or anything and just meet up with some locals try to get to know some people you know we don't have to jump in and meet the love of our life but it would be nice to maybe start dating I actually have a mod by little miss Sam that has a dating app enabled maybe we could use that and see if it can cause like a little mayhem in the story. I'm not sure, but I like the idea of maybe not doing stuff like that the conventional way. You are totally allowed to use mods in CC throughout this entire legacy challenge, so I'm I will definitely be using them. Feel free to use them as well. I think it just spices up the game here and there a little bit, and especially things like online dating or a dating app or like blind dates or one night stands, I think are just such a realistic feature. And I really like the fact that my mods add them to my game. I think maybe for now, I'm just gonna put him in bed. It's like 10.30. I think it's kind of time for him to go to sleep. Actually, IRL for me, it's almost 10.30 as well. Very convenient. And I think that is all I can do for today on this episode. I hope that you guys had just as much fun as I had with playing through the first generation, like the first day. This was the first official day in the challenge. Please let me know down in the comments below if you're as excited as I am for this legacy challenge. And if you are going to play along, and if so, I would love to hear about your starter sims. Like, tell me about your founders. Feel free to tag me on Instagram, YouTube, Twitter. If you're gonna use this anywhere for your own content, which you're completely allowed to, by the way, if you want to, I would absolutely love to see it. So feel free to share it with me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm very excited to see where this series will take us. I cannot wait and I will see you on episode number two, which will come out in a week. I will do my best to upload weekly videos of this challenge, so keep an eye out for the content. If you don't want to miss it, click the subscribe and notification bell down below. And while you're there, you might as well hit the like button if you watched all the way through this video. And if you made it to this part, if you made it all the way through the end, leave an emoji in the comments. I want to see your favorite one or maybe your most used one. Let's see what that gets. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye guys.